Welcome back to Super Thing. So let the hunt continue for that dude. Only one path, so that's not too bad. Cool little. If I could do that, that'd be super cool. So upside down view. Oh, there he is. Where is he? Alright. Not too much exciting over here. Can I go right? Nope. In the big tree. Alright, we got a choice there. Yeah, let's head to the sides first. Before we mess with him. Interesting. It's the dream world has bled into reality here in a different symbol. And there's no cave up here. Get out of here. So it could be some sort of alter ego village. Good is evil, evil is good. It's a dream wood pile. Oh, actually, let's read the sign. Instead of home sweet home, it's like a. Okay, homes with. That's the same. Who's that? That's put me back. Okay. So did I solve a mystery? I feel like I need to go back. I have to go back. There were unsolved mysteries. Alright. This looks like a side to me. I think I faked out the game. I've gotta let it play through its little thing. Gotta start me there, unfortunately. Which is annoying. Let's see if we can rush through, though. It's dangerous to travel down steps that quickly. Wow. Get out of my way. Head across. If you believe. And 
there's our seizure again. Is there a little path? No. Scene maybe again? Good, because I don't need it. Let's try the left side. Oh, it circles around. So I definitely don't want to walk in there because that will reset. want to fight you, but the game's going to probably make me. Hey, how's it going? No. So, I guess we got to fight him. Let's fight, guy. Oh, he's equipped. Oh, I gotta double click. Okay. I fucked that up. Oh, he's got triple. Bastard. Look! Oh, I gotta dodge that. Gotcha. Again, one more. Give it up. Nope. I let him live. And collected something. So this, inside a titanic hollow tree, we approached a solitary grave, and a badass ghost showed up to sing us a mad rhyme. Monitor the moods of the moon, and you'll learn when to be where and how. Also, I just want you to know that I am not deliberately trying to spook you by looking so awesome like I do. Oh, can I get his weapon? it. So I had a little fight with the guy, but I didn't kill him. Actually, let's have a mushroom. So we can heal up. And I think there's one to grab near the house. Yep. This will be full health and full on mushrooms. I still don't know where my fifth star went. Alright, sweet. Uh, there's nothing to unlock with that key. I don't know who that is.
All right, let's get out of here. See if they have anything to say. The girl saw the key that we had found, and she encouraged us to keep our eyes open for a locked door. I know exactly. She didn't have any other ideas, but we were reminded of something we had seen on the old road to Migita. We know exactly where we're going. Wiseman didn't recognize the key that we had found, and he had zero idea what it was for. Seems like you're having a good adventure. That I am. Yeah, so it's that low road key. Which is further up. Adventurers. I think just a ghost is going to appear and give me some helpful tips. We approached a collection of graves in a thicket to the side of the old road, and we met a few ghosts who seemed friendly. The glowing ghost who spoke was a giant we knew from the old stories whose famous portrait demanded obedience. Last year, before the Ulatide, I assembled a posse, and we set out to reassemble the Trigon Trifecta. We had heard about the gateway to the infinite at the summit of Mingi Ta, and we thought it sounded like something cool to see. So anyways, we tamed the gold Trigon and scoped out the Trigon Grove before setting out to locate the Bright Moon Trigon. Locating the Bright Moon Trigon didn't go so well. We got totally lost, to be honest. Slowly, we realized the significance of the lunar cycle and its influence on the spirits who slumber in the twi tw twilight realms. That's when we sat here and began to monitor the moods of the moon, so we might learn when to be, where, and how. We died of boredom, waiting around for the moods of the moon to change. Okay, actually we died because of an argument we had because of boredom. I don't really want to go into it right now, if you don't mind. Okay, so what happened was that one of our posse was a cheating cheater, and we caught him red-handed. A fight broke out, and the cheating cheater fled up the old road towards the perilous precipice. So then, there, then we were just hanging out, wondering what to do, when all of a sudden, the Gogolithic mass showed up. Yikes! They were decimated. Moon? Doing something? Or I can defeat him. I'll try to run away, but I'm gonna... Yeah, I think he's gonna catch me before too long. Gotta fight him. No options. Perry! Hurry! Adventurer is you. There's the low road. And 
like clockwork. Let's be careful. Is there... Are we gonna float or something? Or we're just... Okay, there's a path. Just can't really see it. That helps a little bit. Oh, I can sit down. Alright, shit's going down. Okay. Okay. Darkness. Okay, so I can... I can maybe control moon phases this way. Yeah, there's nothing over there, so... Don't know what moon does what. But I think we're on full. Time Paradox! So I see you've managed to alter the mood of the moon in the moon grotto. I wonder how long this time paradox will last. That the grizzled boar has been allowed to escape unharmed. This is heartening news. Or was included to allow participants to self-identify as compassionate, reasonable people. Okay. It's a long way from zero to one, and if an alien said hello, it'd be a cryptic code on the stereo. Huh. I'm kind of feeling like maybe the cosmos just skipped a beat, and now everything is just a little bit off. Okay. Have to fight again. Okay, there's the moon. Okay, I just gotta f fight this guy constantly. Can I escape into the moon room? Possibly. Yes. Is the answer to that? I suppose I will just have to fight by him. I've got plenty of shrooms. Let's do this. You might have a different attack pattern, though. I want to go up there. To investigate. So hopefully every time I change the moon phase, I don't have to do that same fight. Oh, got something going on over there. Oh, I 
Fellow, that at the perilous precipice we approached the solitary grave of the cheating cheater and met an old glowing ghost dude. Last year, before the Yuletide, Andre the Giant assembled a posse, and we set out to reassemble the Trigon Trifecta. The other dudes in the posse are buried in a thicket to the side of the old road near the log bridge. We managed to locate and tame the gold Trigon pretty, mu pretty easily, but we got totally stuck after that. We sought the bright moon Trigon, so we decided to sit around and watch the sky, waiting for the moods of the moon to change. It was super boring. I wasn't just going to wait around days and days until the bright moon loomed overhead. I left those jive suckers to wander aimlessly while I dug deeper into this moon logic trickery. The old glowing ghost spoke of how he had cheated by quitting out of the game and then altering his computer's date and time settings. The ghost described how awkward this process was, but he told us that it allowed him to affect the phases of the moon. I wonder if it does. The thing is, I've had a serious case of the heebie-jeebies pretty much ever since I cheated, and that's why I died of shame. So, is that like a hint that I need to go change time and dates? Another fight? Okay. If you remember how awesome the sun looked on that particular early spring day. Now let's see if we can get this to work. Nope. It is a one-off. Or maybe you need a full moon. going to be kind of a brute force situation or I just go everywhere under every phase of the moon Let's see if they talk differently Ghosts who seem friendly. So this is nothing special. over here. It's, it's, that's just a thing from earlier. Woodsman admitted that yes, he indeed chipped a decent amount of wood, amount of firewood, in his time. He spoke of the frigid winters and deep snows here amongst the mighty Caucasus mountains that rise above the steeps of Scythia. The woodsmen aspired to have enough food and firewood to survive the long cold months to come. In my last, in my dream last night, I was walking in the woods and I was totally craving a muffin, but there were zero muffins. You know, look 
shortcut for a muffin, I suppose. We'll head to the B side after we've gone everywhere. There's nothing to go to over there in the real world. All right, talk to that ghost. What if I hit it again, maybe? Kind of, oh, this is, oh, this is, oh, something different. Oh, nothing. It's already activated. Could I activate one that I don't have the glyph for? need full moon for that to take effect. That might be what that means. Who knows with this one? And the same thing. Worn weathered, struck the stone, structure the yeah. No moon. So this is the half moon, it's the no moon, and it's the full moon. Okay. So I have an idea. I'm not going to waste any time unless I have to. I'll just have to make note that the Half Moon B-side is unexplored. Let's go straight to No Moon, see what I find. here without fighting, hopefully. Seems so. Jog on. Full. 
Very full. There's different states of fullness. Other half. Crescent. And... Darkness. Let's get out of here. Let's see what happens. It looks the same. So we'll continue this exploring next time. So catch y'all then.